So I'm preparing myself to do a clean install of Windows 11 24H2, but there is a problem. I cannot install the Windows 11 24H2 as it is like the stock Windows 11 24H2 because there are features that I just don't want to use. For example, the automatic bit locker. I don't, I don't need that. Okay. Second, uh, the OneDrive. Now, uh, OneDrive will automatically back up some of the user folders and files. Uh, like, for example, the documents, desktops, and pictures. I think, yeah, three of them. I don't want that. Plus, the bloat. I mean, it's not a big deal. We can actually uninstall the bloats after we're done installing Windows 11 24 H2. But what about the BitLocker in OneDrive? That's something we don't have control over. Unless we use some third-party softwares, like, for example, the Rufus. Rufus can actually remove system requirements, Microsoft account requirement, plus it can create a local account, plus you can also disable automatic BitLocker. This is actually simplest way to customize the Windows 11 24H2 installation, but you can go even further beyond. There is this thing called answer files or unattend XML file. You can use this simple XML file to modify Windows settings during installation this is like the official method to automate the uh, windows installation so you can create a xml file if you know how to and all that but don't worry there is this online tool called unattended generator it's schneegans.de windows slash unattend generator so basically it provides you the gui to uh, create a XML file and you can change a bunch of Windows settings within this XML file and everything will be applied during installation. So let's go through this actually. So first option we have region and language settings. Here you can automate the language and region plus uh, your keyboard layout, okay, which will be set to default to English and you know you can change it to whatever you want i want the english so i'm gonna leave everything as it is second processor you don't want to touch this unless you have the uh, windows arm device so uh, just choose the intel amd 64 bit setup settings here you can bypass the tpm and secure boot uh, if your pc doesn't support okay easily you don't even have to use any third-party software for this this is just simple xml file which will do everything for you and you can also allow windows 11 to get installed without internet connection computer name you can name your computer right here or windows will automatically generate a computer name so if you want to let's say for example i'm gonna say kb pc okay let's do that compact os this is uh, to optimize the windows files if you use it it's going to compress size of windows that will get installed uh, just leave it to let windows decide okay time zone you can also automate the time zone here partitioning this one is really important if you're an advanced user you can go with the manual but i suggest you guys go with the you know uh, partition the disk interactively during windows setup don't touch this okay you can do it later when you're installing the windows windows edition you can choose which windows edition you want to install right here user account here you can create a local account within this xml file let's say for example i'm gonna go and create one account let's do a one to one to password just for this example okay and yeah now it's going to create a local account for me automatically i don't have to do anything okay and after that password expiration leave it as it is account logout policy leave it uh, windows explorer tweaks if you want to change windows explorer settings from here uh, you can like uh, show hidden files and all that, but I suggest you guys to leave it as it is. Okay, you can do that later. And there are some taskbar settings that you can change. So just leave it as it is. This section is basically customizing the some of the Windows settings. Okay, here I don't use widgets. I'm gonna disable it. I can also use the classic right-click menu because Windows 11's right-click menu kind of sucks. I like the taskbar in center, so I'm gonna le leave it as it is. You can also disable the Windows Defender, but I don't recommend that unless if you're planning to use some other antivirus you have the option since i just use the windows defender 
I don't use any other third party, you know, antiviruses. I'm going to keep it. So for most people, just keep it. OK, you can also disable the Windows updates, which is also not recommended. You can do that after you install the operating system and there is the pause option. So leave it as it is. Disable USC. I do that after I install the operating system. So I'm going to leave it as it is. Disable fast startup. Yeah just disable it don't ask any question okay you don't need this unless if you have a laptop for laptop it's good for desktop it's not if you have ssd it doesn't even matter that much yeah i'm just gonna keep everything as it is okay so disable app suggestions this is like add so i'm gonna disable it prevent device encryption yeah this is a important one this is something that i don't want to use this option will disable the automatic bitlocker encryption this is basically what i'm looking for make edge uninstallable with this you can make edge uninstallable maybe some of you guys don't know you can actually uninstall microsoft edge on eu so basically this option is going to edit this uh, JSON file and gonna make the edge uninstallable now leave everything as it is don't have to touch anything Wi-Fi setup yeah if you're using Wi-Fi uh, you can also set up your Wi-Fi right here you can put your SSID password and all that but you can do that interactively it's not a big deal okay uh, express settings you can disable all the you know uh, telemetry and everything here which will be default here so leave it as it is lock keys just uh, use default don't have to do anything this one also leave it as it is don't have to do anything but if you want to use some custom wallpaper or something yeah go with it now this one is another really important part remove bloatware with this you can debloat windows 11 before you even install it it's going to do it when you're installing it like in the middle of installation and you won't notice anything actually <laughs> it's all going to happen automatically now here what i suggest you guys to do is click on select all this will select everything and it's going to remove everything but now what you should do is uncheck the apps that you actually want to use like for example snipping tool i want that powershell I want that OneDrive. I don't want that. Uh, I want the Notepad, but the modern one. Where is the modern? Yeah, here. Notepad. I want that. Camera. I want that. Photos. I use it. Paint. I use it. Uh, Windows Terminal. I use it. Oh, I also use the clock calculator. Okay. And Xbox. Actually, yeah, I have some Xbox games. So, yeah, that's all. I need and the rest of them will get removed but if I need any of these apps again I can go and download these from Microsoft Store no big deal okay so I'm gonna select those now we can also customize the start menu and all that here don't have to touch anything but if you want to customize it yeah you go ahead and do it so I'm gonna leave everything as it is and we are actually done yeah leave all the settings as it is don't don't do anything else okay now click on this option download xml just like that oh okay yeah it's invalid you can't have the spaces okay so i'm gonna put this dash in here now i'm gonna again click on xml now this time it's gonna get downloaded go to your downloads folder and then you'll see a xml file which is going to be few kilobytes okay it's it's a tiny small xml file now we need two more things first the rufus this is a free and open source software to create a bootable usb drive for windows plus linux and all that so download that now we also need a windows 11 iso file which we can download from official website yeah this is the official website from here you can download the iso file now once you have all the files run the rufus okay just double click to run it and this is how it's going to look like now select your usb drive in device option and then click on this select option to select the iso file go to your downloads folder and select your windows 11 24h2 iso file okay select that now you can leave everything as it is. You don't have to touch anything. Click on start. And here you'll get this option. Okay. Disable BitLocker, remove system requirements and all that. But since we have already done this in XML file, we don't have to do this. Okay. So we're going to 
go and click on OK and gonna click on OK one more time. And this is gonna format the disk and gonna create a bootable USB drive for Windows 11 24H2. Once it's done, it's gonna say ready here at the bottom. Now just click on close. Now go back to your downloads folder where you have all the files here. You need to copy this file, the XML file that we just created. Just copy it and go to your bootable USB drive that you just created and paste that file in here. That's it. That's all you have to do. This is so simple and easy. Now, let me show you guys this in virtual machine. So here it is. It's booting up the bootable USB drive that we just created and you're going to see will have much better and cleaner Windows 11 experience. So you saw that we didn't get any prompt to select the language and all that. We just straight jumped into where we have to select the disk. So we're gonna select our disk here. Okay, so gonna click on next, done. Now it's gonna automate everything that we have selected on the XML file. You just wait and let this thing finish installing and uh, here we are after that i didn't do nothing okay everything just got automated all the apps there are a couple of apps just you know clean no one drive because that's something i don't want to use all right let's go to downloads folders yeah you can see there is no one drive i, I just hate that feature because i don't use it so i don't want this it's okay so let's check on the bit locker here for sure, BitLocker is also disabled because I don't want to use it. Okay, much better and cleaner Windows 11 experience. Now I'm gonna go and actually install Windows 11 24H2 with this method because you know I have to do a clean install of Windows 11 24H2 because I have been dual booting Linux and Windows on same drive and I have some issues. Plus, uh, I'll maybe buy some other drive for Linux for dual boot. They'll have separate drive for dual boot. I think that's going to be much better. That's the reason I'm clean installing Windows 11. And this is how I'm going to do a clean install of Windows 11, especially the 24H2, because I don't want to use some features. Plus, they are not even optional. Actually, let's check on the uh, recall thingy, because there is a recall thing that is present in 24H2. Let me do it for you actually. I don't know if it's present. Let's let's actually find out. <laughs> okay. Recall tool. Disabled. Okay. Okay. With this we also disabled recall. I don't know what it's doing on the normal x86 PCs. This thing is supposed to be on Copilot Plus PCs. Okay, let's not talk about this. I have already done a video on this. If you're interested, you can go there and watch that. Yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or you want to discuss something, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.